In this video, we're going to tell you how to pronounce C and G. Extra English practice. The C letter in English has two sounds. Sometimes it sounds like S and sometimes it sounds like K. Mm -hmm. The S we call it soft sound and the K it's hard sound. The G, likewise, has two sounds, a soft and a hard. It can sound like J or G. So how do you know which one? Mm -hmm. Fortunately, there's a pretty easy rule you can follow to figure out when you're looking at a word if you should use the hard or the soft sound. If the G or the C is followed by E, I, or Y, then you use the soft sound. So if you see a word that is C, I, C, Y, or C, E, almost always <laughs> that C is going to sound like an S. Mm -hmm. But if any other letter comes after it, or no letter at all, then it's usually going to sound like a K. Mm -hmm. So for example, the word voice, which has C, E, voice, has the soft sound. Likewise, the words city and icy. And some words with the K hard sound are close, mm -hmm. document, mm -hmm. catch, and comb. So we'll give you some examples with G. The soft sound G, we could look at the words danger, giraffe, or biology. And then a G that's followed by any other letter will sound like G. For example, guess, grateful, dragon, <laughs> or big. Big has nothing after it. Yeah, that's Just it. G. Easy. Yeah. We should say, as with everything, there are exceptions, mm -hmm. but you can follow this rule most of the time. Mm -hmm. So we're going to look at a bunch of words that have C or G in them and decide if they're the soft sound, we'll put them here or if they're the hard sound, we'll put them over here. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll go first. Mm -hmm. I have the word price. Price. C-E. E makes the C soft. Price. Yeah. We said soft over here, right? That's what I said. Perfect. Okay, my word is curtain. Curtain. So it's followed by a U. It's the hard sound. Over here it goes. Can you tell what this C will be? Uncomfortable. C O mm. comfortable. Uncomfortable. I want to go to the top. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Next, discuss. It's the same. It's also a hard one. Discuss. C E. Celery. Mm. Celery. Oh, I love celery. Tasty vegetable. Mm -hmm. Crowd. It's a C-R, so that's a hard one. Crowd. C-A. Candle. Candle. Got a lot of hard ones here. We do. Oh, this one is C-Y, so it's soft, spicy. Do you like spicy food, Larissa? Not really. <laughs> Me neither. Decided. Decided. Mm. Another soft. Juicy. Another soft one. Mm -hmm. Decade. Decade. Mm. Last one. Circle. This has both. Oh. So it's got one C followed by an I, so that first C is soft, and then it's got a C followed by an L, so it's a hard one. Circle. <laughs> we'll put it right in the middle. <laughs> Great. <laughs> okay, to practice these sounds, we're going to try to make a sentence using as many of these words as we can. <laughs> Do you want to go first? Sure. All right. Um, I feel uncomfortable discussing the price of celery. <laughs> <laughs> Just, you know, it's too, it's too much. All right, we won't talk about it. <laughs> How about peppers? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> nice sentence. Mm. Um, the crowd mm -hmm. decided to leave a circle 
of candles mm. up for a decade. Whoa! <laughs> Did they burn that whole time? Those were some big candles. They were unlit. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, I've only got three. I should be able to do it. <laughs> These don't really go together. Um, the food was too spicy, so she threw it on the curtain and instead ate a juicy peach. <laughs> <laughs> nice it's rude. It's a rude person throwing food on curtains. We don't recommend it. <laughs> We're going to do the same thing now with the G sounds. Remember, if the G is followed by I, E, or Y, it will often sound soft, J. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, G. All right. Here we go. All right. Let's do it. Okay. First word, guitar. It's followed by a U, so we know it's a hard sound. Guitar. Glasses. Glasses. Giant. Oh. Hmm. Goal. Goal. This one is followed by an I, so it's soft. Digital. Digital. Mm. Angle or angel? Ooh. Angel. Mm -hmm. Angel. A N G L E is angle. Yeah. This is angel. J. J. Disguise. Disguise. A hard one. Down here, psychology. Psychology. That's the crazy spelling in that <laughs> word. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> gym. Gym. You like to go to the gym? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Beginning. Beginning. Yeah. Frog. Hoppity hop. <laughs> Over to the hard side. And this one? Generous. Mm. Generous. Okay. Sentence time. Here we go. You want to go first? Sure. Great. Mm. <laughs> okay. I once saw a frog who wore giant glasses mm. as he played the guitar. Nice. I mean... Of course. <laughs> it was in a dream. How'd they stay on his face, though, with no real nose? <laughs> the angel wore a disguise when they were beginning to go to the gym. Hmm. So people might flip out if they see just a plain old angel at the gym. I would. <laughs> Might make me like the gym more, though. <laughs> Come for the angels, stay for the fitness. <laughs> okay. The goal of psychology has nothing to do with digital cameras or generous... Generosity? Generous people. <laughs> <laughs> it has nothing to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So remember, if you have a C or a G followed by I, E, or Y, it's the soft sound. Either J or S. Otherwise, you can use the K or the G. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. We hope you enjoyed this video. We have a ton more pronunciation videos you can check out. Yeah, so you should subscribe to them mm -hmm. and uh, let your friends know. Share yeah. with everyone. Yeah. Let us know what you think in the comments. All right. Have a good day.